Electric Channel 9, 509 in HD. Tonight's game from Hanover High School, where the Hanover area Hawkeyes, coached by Marie Skrepnik at 0-2, will take on the 1-1 Mountain View Eagles, coached by Billy Simmons. Mountain View last year was the single A, made it to the PIAA semifinals, losing 34-33 to to Lords Regional. They were the District 2 1A champions. Starting for them will be number two, uh, Riley Clymer at guard, a 5'6 junior. Number 10 at guard, a junior, Riley Turner at forward, a senior. Number 13, Lily Sedlak at guard, a senior. Number 14, Claire Getz. And at forward, the 6'1 sophomore, Addison Kilmer, averaging 9.5 points a game here to start the season. Kilmer wins the tip-off, gives it to Riley Turner. For Hanover, it'll be Paige Engelman, number one, as well as Brenna Slusser, number 12. Number 23, Alana Hughes. Number 24, Caitlin Vigorito. And number 40, Flora Turriato. So Mountain View gets things started. It's Kilmer. Works it over to Turner. Claire gets for three. Knocks it down from the outside. Full court pressure here from Mountain View. As they get it into Slusser, Slusser brings it up on the right side. Goes to lay it in and gets blocked by Kilmer. We're going to call a foul, though. And he'll send Slusser to the line. Brenna Slusser, no relation to your current announcer, Mike Slusser. Heads to the line. Slusser three for five on field goals. Makes the first one. Leading scorer for Hanover, averaging a little over eight points a game here in the first two games of the season as she can't get the second one to fall. Mountain View with control as Riley Clymer from the outside. Gives it off to Turner. Turner. Let's things settle over to Getz. Trying to find Addison Kilmer down low. They get her out top on the wing. Now the three up from Turner. Can't bank it home. Kilmer with the rebound. Pulls it down. Kicks it out to Getz. Getz back out to Kilmer. Getz settles again. Turner. Getz from the top of the key. Can't get her second three to fall. Knocked around, wrestling for the ball on the floor. We'll get a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Hawkeyes. Full court pressure again from Mountain View as they get it into Hughes. Taken away, layup and a foul as Getz can't get the layup to go. Foul will go against Caitlin Vigorito as Getz makes her first free throw. Getz, an excellent shooter, knocks down both. And Marie Skarpnex going to take a quick 30 second timeout here, trailing 5 to 1. Just a minute and 28 seconds into this first quarter. It's a Hanover area team last year that won just two games. With Slusser and with Engelman, they should have a little bit more scoring punch this year. So Hanover out of the huddle first. So they're going to take Toronto and work her down. Now gets it up to Slusser. Slusser brings it across. Loses the ball, though, knocked away by Turner. Turner with the steal. Gets it back to Clymer. Clymer back to Turner. Gets 
Pumped it down low to Sedlak. Now up for three again for Getz. Can't get it to go. Sedlak's rebound. Left hand doesn't go. And the rebound comes down in the hands of Flora Torado. Vigor Vigorito works it down. And then hits a bank on the outside. The bank open at 7 o'clock as they cut the lead down to two. Turner, top of the key over to Getz. Turner. A three from Addison Clymer. Can't get that one to go. Getz gets the rebound and will get a tie up and that one will end up with Mountain View. Mountain View one and one on the year, and they've got a win over Lakeland in their last game. They fell to Western Wayne in their first game of the year, 42 to 25. Western Wayne will be an interesting team to watch there with Emily Romanowski back for them after missing last year with an injury. Up for three, can't get that one to go for Claire Getz. She misses everything, and it'll be Hanover basketball. For the Hawkeyes, they've scored 26 and 29 points as Clymer takes that one away with a quick pass. Nice move in the open court for the big girl and a beautiful pass to her sister Riley Clymer. Back up by four, their biggest lead of the game. Slusser brings it up. It's a three on two here if she wants it, takes it to the basket. But that big eraser and Addison Clymer knocks it away. That ball in, knocked up in the air, and then when it's up in the air, Keimer with a few inches on everyone is able to pull it up. On the line from the outside, knocks down a two-pointer, does Claire Getz that time. She's got seven of the nine points for Mountain View. And the largest lead of the game for the Eagles is six. That ball knocked away, it'll stick with Hanover. So Maggie Murphy will come out after checking in shortly there. And Izzy Curcio comes in. Stolen away by Turner on the inbounds pass. Up with the left hand and one. Turner makes the free throw. Knocked away that time, it'll remain with Hanover. It's been difficult for the Lady Hawkeyes to get anything moving as once again now it's knocked away this time by Kilmer. It's off of Hanover last, it'll be Mountain View basketball. Kilmer again is going to try a deep three, can't get it to go. Rebound up with it and a foul. Usually it's the opposite way. Usually Riley Kilmer shooting from the outside and Addison Kilmer is getting the rebound. That time it was Addison from the outside and Riley gets the rebound and gets fouled as she goes back up. Three for three from the line for Mountain View already and that one is going to be short. That one's good. Curcio gets it up, quickly works it up to the top. That pass a little too strong and it ends up out and it'll be Mountain View basketball again. Mountain View's done a great job of speeding up Hanover as Maggie Murphy returns for the Hawkeyes. Lana Hughes will take a seat.
Addison Kilmer out of the game. Vanessa Harvey replaces her. Jumper from the outside doesn't go. And we're going to get an over the back. That'll be the second foul on Vigorito. As Paige Engelman returns for the Hawkeyes. Turner collects it on the outside. Back to Turner at the top of the key. Works it over for Getz. Gets another three. Knocks down her second three of the game. She's in double digits with 10 points here. And a 13 point lead as a steal. Layup doesn't go. Rebound though comes down in the hands of Clymer. Up with the jumper and Harvey knocks that one down for her first basket. And now a 15 point lead with 3.33 to go here in the first quarter. Claire Getz has 10 points in this first quarter. Three points for Riley Clymer, two points for Harvey, three for Turner, who's been difficult to deal with on defense as well. Caitlin Vigorito made a bank layup for Hanover and a free throw from Brenna Slusser are the three points for the Hawkeyes. The pressure from Mountain View so far has been extremely difficult for Hanover to handle. And Marie Skrepnik right now working on a way to try to break that press and just find a way to get into their offense as they have not been able to do that yet. So Mountain View comes out in the press. Curcio, they work it across nicely. Vigorito, little jumper, can't get it to go. Heimer comes back with the basketball. It's almost knocked away, then it is knocked away. Loose on the floor. Good hustle as Mountain View ends up back with it. Skip pass across to Harvey. She controls at the top of the key. Getz loses control there, and it's going to remain with Mountain View. We get a block and call in the lane there as Getz tries to drive towards the basket. Vigorito's going to pick up her third foul there. So three fouls in the first quarter for Caitlin Vigorito. Claire Getz to the line, knocks down that one. Three for three from the free throw line, 11 points for Claire Getz. She misses that one. And it'll go back to Mountain View with good hustle there from Kilmer. Riley Kilmer to inbound the basketball. Bodies on the floor. Jumper from Harvey, that one's good. Vanessa Harvey knocks down a jumper from the baseline. Once again, Hanover just cannot deal with this press right now from Mountain View. As Hughes gets it up to Slusser. Slusser loses control. Slusser went down pretty hard there as well. Pops up, though. She's all right.
So the jump ball will go to Hanover. As Aubrey Sanders comes in for Mountain View. Brooklyn Anderson in as well. Still Hanover's basketball. As Lily Sedlak does a good job there of preventing the inbound pass. Now Maggie Murphy to inbound. It's taken away by Sanders as Slusser couldn't get around her. Nice job fronting her up there. Anderson off of her hands. Now Sanders gets it in. Kick to the outside. Jumper from the baseline for Harvey, though, is no good. And a rebound comes down for Engelman. The foul will go against Addison Kilmer, her second. Curcio tries to put a pass across. It's knocked away there by Paige Smith. Now Turner gets it over to Harvey. Smith from the corner up for three. Can't get that one to go. And the rebound comes down in the hands of Brenna Slusser. Slusser tries to get it up quickly, but Turner takes it away. Anderson back across to Turner. Now Aubrey Sanders decides to take the open three. Can't get it to go. Good hot job by Harvey to go up and get it amongst the trees. Misses the layup. Down with the rebound is Smith. Smith kicks it back out for Turner. Anderson back over for Harvey for three. Can't get that one to go. Another rebound for Anderson. And this time it's going to be Engelman that comes away. But it's stolen away by Paige Smith when she tried to bring it down. Anderson. Back over to Harvey. Harvey steps into a jumper. Can't get that to go. And the rebound for Hanover. Can they get it out of their own end? They cannot. It'll be Mountain View basketball. As Flora Toronto returns for the Hawkeyes. Sanders brings it up. Harvey. Back over to Sanders. Back to Harvey. Up with the three. Hits the back iron. Turner runs down the loose ball. Really good hustle out of Riley Turner. Jumper there. Knocked down and good for Paige Smith. And that'll go back to Mountain View basketball. 20-point lead for the Eagles here in the first quarter. Sanders. Turner. Jumper, though, doesn't go there. Tracking it down is Smith with 30 seconds to go. Sanders gets that one to go. Knocked away from Slusser by Sanders. Back forward, Anderson, Harvey. Gets a nice pass back to Anderson. Anderson, though, can't get the layup to go. Turner tracks it down. She's got four to shoot. Into the corner for Sanders for three. And that will end a dominant first quarter for the Mountain View Eagles. After one quarter, 25 to three, you're watching High School Basketball on Service Electric Channel 9.
an impressive first quarter from the Mountain View Eagles. Five points for Aubrey Sanders, three points for Riley Kilmer, four points for Vanessa Harvey, three for Riley Turner. Claire Getz had 11 points, and Paige Smith with two for 28 for Mountain View. For Hanover, Caitlin Vigorito was their leading scorer with two points. She also has three fouls. And Brenna Slusser with the one free throw. Not a lot of opportunities so far for Hanover to get in any offenses. The full court pressure from Mountain View has caused them all kinds of problems. Harvey gets it into Sanders. Turner, Sanders, back to Turner. Sanders settles it back down, Harvey. Gets it inside to Anderson. Anderson tries to throw it up to the basket. Can't get it there. And the rebound for Maggie Murphy. Lana Hughes gets it across half court. Hanover gets to settle into a bit of an offense here. Tries to get the shot up there. It's blocked, though, by Paige Smith. And now back comes Smith with the basketball. Tried to go coast to coast. Jumps a pass off. Anderson works a pass over to Sanders. Now over to Turner. Sanders settles up top. Vanessa Harvey. Harvey looks around, finds Sanders with the basketball. Sanders drives a little opie doke move, can't get it to go. Controlled by Hughes along the line, but she loses control when she steps on the line. And it'll go back to Mountain View basketball. Twenty-five point lead for Mountain View. As they've gone a minute here in this quarter without scoring as Turner. Takes a three from the outside, can't get it to go. And stepping on the line there was Brooklyn Anderson. Tries to zip that pass across, but Riley Turner's right there to get it. Turner goes up, lays it in, gets it to go. So Turner's got five. A 27-point lead for Mountain View. A jumper offline for Hanover. As Sanders comes back with it. Harvey to Turner on the baseline. Can't get that jumper to go. Should be Hanover's rebound. Now can they get it out with that pressure from Mountain View? We'll get a jump ball. But it'll remain Hawkeye basketball. Mountain View laying off the pressure now, up by 27 here. Russinello gets it knocked away by Sanders. Sanders drives in, gets fouled as she goes up. They'll stay on the floor. Addison Kilmer returns. As the foul was against Curcio. Curse up with a three for Kilmer. That'll give her a two there. First basket of the game for Addison Kilmer, the leading scorer from Mountain View. That gives the Eagles a 29 point lead. Now knocked away again. Back come the Eagles, nice pass down to Sanders. Sanders can't get it to go, but she'll head to the line and shoot two. Sanders had nine points against Lakeland. She misses that free throw. She's got five here tonight. That was her first free throw of the season. As Mimi Sedlak comes on. For Brooklyn Anderson. And that free throw is good for Sanders. She's got half a dozen and a 30-point lead for Mountain View. That pass offline. 
Hopefully they were paying attention on the Eagles bench. Sanders brings it across the timeline. Kilner out to Turner. Skip pass across to Paige Smith. Smith's going to take the three, hits the back iron, and the rebound comes down in the hands of Brenna Slusser. Slusser will carry it up herself. Pulls up, takes a deep three, tried to bank it home, and it gets there. First basket in a while for Hanover. Trying to check if the bank's open on this side of the court. The rebound goes up for Kilner, though, and she gets it to go. So Addison Kilner now has four. As Slusser zips it down low. Kilner with another block. Claire Getz returns for Mountain View. And Riley Kilner as well. Riley jumps up, takes that one away. Gets a little pump drive and lays it in nicely. Claire Getz with 13. The largest lead of the game for Mountain View at 31. Travel called against Hanover, another turnover for the Hawkeyes. as Lily Sedlak comes on for Riley Turner. Riley Kilmer takes it up for the Eagles. Eagles last season 21 and six as we get it down low and up and in to Addison Kilmer. Kilmer has six points here in the second quarter as they extend their lead up to 33. Payne Jengelman gets that one taken away. Now Kilmer up with a layup, can't get it to go, but she'll head to the line on the fast break. She misses the first one. One for three from the line now. As Maggie Murphy checks in. Vigorito picked up her fourth foul. Can't get that one to go either. It'll be Hanover basketball. Maggie Murphy works it over to Lana Hughes up. Can't get it to go and the rebound for Addison Kilmer. Up ahead to Riley Kilmer. Can't get that to fall. Rebound up and good there for Lily Sedlak. Her first points of the game. And now the 35 point lead. Stolen away again by Mountain View. Riley, Riley Kilmer brings it up, gives it off to Addison. Addison decides she wants to take a three. She's been trying to hit that all night. She knocks one down. She's got nine. We'll get a timeout from Marie Skrepnik. Forty-four to six. 38 point lead, the largest lead of the game for Mountain View. Ah. 
Pirates Mountain View team is averaging 37 and a half points per game here early in the season. They're four away from their season high of 48 against Lakeland. For Hanover, they have scored a 26 and 29 for 27 and a half points per game to start the season for them with their opponents scoring an average of 54 points per game. Local high school sports here on Service Electric Channel 9, 509 in high definition. As Brennan Slusser takes it across the timeline. Rifles a pass over. Hughes. Murphy who can't get that to go, gets her own rebound. It gets blocked, and then they call a jump ball. And that'll put the ball back with the Eagles of Mountain View. Taken up by Riley Kilmer. Vanessa Harvey settles. Harvey. Now down low, nice pass, nice basket there from Lily Sedlak. And a 40 point lead for the Eagles. Three from Murphy, doesn't hit anything. Reagan Bishop Russo with the rebound. Harvey brings it up, takes it right to the basket, can't get it to go, the rebound missed, back up with it and good again, Lily Sedlak. Feeling it, she's got the last six points for Mountain View. Pass goes off of Engelman's chest. And then it's settled down by Kilmer. Good sportsmanship shown by her there. Gets. Bishop Russo, Vanessa Harvey with it. She turns at the top. Bishop Russo, as it looks like Mountain View is gonna try to work these last 34 seconds off the clock before going to halftime. Kilmer. And we'll get a travel that goes against Reagan Bishop Russo. Very difficult thing to do to try to hold the ball for a minute. Slusser brings it up for the Hawkeyes. That pass offline. And it'll go back to Mountain View with 13 seconds to go here. Harvey brings it up, seven seconds to go. Harvey lays a pass down, can't get it to go. The rebound can't go there either. And that is the end of the first half. A 28 point first quarter, a 20 point second quarter, and a 48 to six lead for the Eagles of Mountain View. You're watching High School Basketball on Service Electric Channel 9 and 509 in high definition. Second half coming up next. Getting ready to start the second half. It has been a dominant performance by the Mountain View Eagles. Out of the uh, Lackawanna Division IV Conference, they are up 48-6 to over the host Hanover Area Hawkeyes. Four points for Brenna Slusser in that first half. Two points for Caitlin Vigorito, along with four fouls as well for uh, the uh, sophomore from Hanover. For Mountain View, their leading scorer, Claire Getz, with 13 points. Addison Kilmer had nine points all in the second quarter. Six points from Aubrey Sanders, three points from Riley Kilmer, four points for Vanessa Harvey, five for Riley Turner, six for Lily Sedlak, as well as two for Paige Smith.
Vigorito will inbound it to Slusser. Vigorito drives, pulls up with the left hand, can't get it to go. The rebound for Addison Kilmer. Quickly up ahead for Riley. Five points for Riley Kilmer. Toronto gets it knocked away from her. It'll remain Hanover basketball. Tomorrow night, it'll be a more high school basketball here on Service Electric Channel 9. When Berwick will be at the Hanover area boys. On Friday, it'll be West Scranton at the Wilkes-Barre boys. And then on Saturday, it'll be this Mountain View team taking on Wyoming Seminary at 2.15. Riley Kilmer works it over to Getz. Getz drives the baseline, gets stopped there, kicks it back out to Riley. Left hands up, no good. Ends up in the hands of Alana Hughes. Hughes loses possession there as Addison Kilmer comes away with it. Gets on the baseline, little floater, uses the backboard and gets it to go. 15 points for Claire Getz, her season high. She had 13 against Western Wayne. She's averaging eight points a game early in the season. Slusser pulls up, gets it low. Nice block again there from Addison Kilmer. Riley thought about the three after her sister got it up to her. Pass over to Turner, now gets in the corner for two, gets it to go. Clara Getz with 17. A runner and gets it to go there for Vigorado. Vigorito has four. Stolen away there by Slusser, back forward. Stops, pops, can't get it to go in the rebound for Turner. Can't get that one to go. It'll be Mountain View basketball. So the clock runs here with a 54 to 8 lead for the Eagles here in the third quarter. Claire Getz gets it back, puts it up, gets it to go. Two pointer for Getz. She's got 19. And they pull back out to a 48-point lead, matching their largest lead of the game. Vigorito can't get that one to go. The rebound comes down for Addison Kilmer. Inside, Kilmer. Left hand goes up, can't get it to go. Rebound, that pass can't get out where it's stuck and Slusser comes away with it. Brennan Slusser is the leading scorer with Vigorito. They both have four. And she's gonna double dribble there as she lost possession herself and then picked it back up. Line change for the Eagles. Paige Smith returns as well as Vanessa Harvey. Brooklyn Anderson back in the game as well as Mimi Sedlak. And Aubrey Sanders. Will turn around jumper is good for Paige Smith. 
And now the first time that Mountain View has made it to a 50-point lead. Off the hands there of Maggie Murphy. Harvey tried to sneak a pass in, could not. Slusser comes away with it back the other way. Full head of steam, gets to the basket, and one. So Brenna Slusser makes her first shot from the field. She'll head to the line for the second time. She's one for two on the evening from the free throw line. Misses that one. Steals it away. Works it over to Murphy. Murphy pumps. Baseline jumper. Finds the front rim. And the rebound comes down for Aubrey Sanders. Harvey back to Sanders. That one tipped away from an active Vigorito. Now Sanders. Baseline jumper doesn't go. Anderson lost track of it. Scursio comes away with it, stolen away by Sanders. Harvey back over to Sanders. Smith can't get it to go. The rebound for Curcio, and we're going to get a foul that's going to go on Mimi Sedlak. Slusser brings it up for the Hawks. Stolen away by Sanders again. Sanders slows it down as Slusser picks her up as they get across half court. She reaches in and fouls there. I believe that's the first foul of the game for Brenna Slusser. Sanders. She drives, tries to hit a jumper, can't get it to go. The rebound from Harvey, fights it up and gets it in. So Vanessa Harvey has six points, back up to a 50-point lead for Mountain View. You're watching High School Basketball here on Service Electric Channel 9, 509 in HD. We back at it tomorrow again here with local high school basketball. The boys will take over, as it'll be Berwick at Hanover at 7 o'clock. And then West Scranton at Wilkesbury on Friday at 7 as well. And then Saturday, these Mountain View girls will take on the Wyoming Seminary girls at 2.15. Here on Service Electric Channel 9, 509 in high definition. 60-10 to 10 lead for the defending District 2 1A champions. Made it all the way to the PIAA semifinals last year. They lost a heartbreaker, 34-33. The Lords Regional. A lot of runs last year, especially on the girls' side in the PIAA playoffs. Of course, Dunmore winning the state championship last year. The Eagles part of that run from District 2 last year. Harvey works it into Sanders. Brooklyn Anderson gets it knocked away from her. Anderson gets it back. Gets it back out to Sanders. 
Anderson. Pass off to Mimi Sedlak. Sanders back out to Paige Smith. Smith's jumper hits the back iron. And the rebound for Mimi Sedlak. Brenna Slusser. Senior comes back out. Jumper from the outside for Curcio doesn't go. The rebound comes down in the hands of Brooklyn Anderson. Sanders able to control the basketball. Drives to the basket and gets fouled. That fall will go against Alana Hughes. It's the second foul on Hughes. Sanders gets it back, brings it out from underneath the basket. Back over to Harvey. Sanders gets it back to Smith. Harvey back up top. And that jumper knocked down there by Paige Smith. 52 point lead is the largest lead of this game for Mountain View. Now Slusser gets it knocked away from her, but she's able to track it down as she knocks it back away from Paige Smith. Brenda Slusser comes in with a head of steam, gets it back out to Maggie Murphy on the outside. Murphy's little floater doesn't go, and the rebound comes down for Vanessa Harvey. Jumper up and good. Mimi Sedlak gets her first basket of the game. Now to the players who have played in this game. It would only be Bishop Russo and Brooklyn Anderson who have not scored for Mountain View in this game. Slosser tracks it down, gets it over to Murphy. Takes a little jump step. Misses the jumper. Trying to fight a ball up there. And the rebound comes down for Harvey. Sanders back out for Harvey. Smith from the foul line. Can't get that jumper to go. Rebound up and good. And now Brooklyn Anderson has her first basket of the game. So we'll get a foul that goes against Mountain View there. As Bishop Russo comes on, as well as Paige Strickland and Kylie Bartheit. So Billy Simmons has officially gone to everyone on his bench, well, except for Haley Bills is still over there, as Curcio can't get that one to go. Rebound comes down for Sanders. Bishop Russo. Gonna go over to be Hanover basketball. Knocked away. Sanders comes away with it. Bishop Russo. Strickland misses the jumper. Rebound doesn't go. Still fighting for the basketball. Mimi Sedlak gets it out. Loses control, though. Curcio whips a ball up court. Turnaround doesn't go. And we'll get a push there that goes against Toronto. So 
Sanders brings it up for Mountain View. Settles back up top. A little turnaround jumper is good for Paige Strickland. Vigorito controls. Curcio from the baseline can't get it to go. Murphy now stuck. Throws a pass away, but it's taken down, and Sanders comes away with it. Minute 45 left to go in this game. Mountain View, as we said, will be Saturday at Wyoming Seminary. They then play Tunkhannock in Wyoming area before getting into their league schedule when they play Elk Lake in the new year. For Hanover, they still have a busy December ahead of them as that jumper gets blocked. They'll be at Susquehanna on Saturday, and then home against Mid-Valley on December 11th. And then they'll head out to Elk Lake on the 16th. They'll still take on Northwestern and Redeemer before they end up in the Anthony Badger Marseco tournament. And now, Floor Toronto. Got a little lightheaded there, went down. So that'll be the final score, 68 to 10. Mountain View defeats Hanover. As I said, we will be back tomorrow when Berwick takes on the Hanover area boys at 7 o'clock. I'm Mike Slusser. This has been High School Basketball on Service Electric Channel 9, 509 HD.